Good morning my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. It is going to be another at home vlog. I very much appreciate your feedback on the last one and I know that you guys like these just kind of chilling at home with me vlogs. I always thought that I needed to do something exciting but turns out you just like to see what I'm doing at home. I have just got back from a reformer pilates class. Last month I upgraded my class pass so I now have 110 credits to get through every month and also I don't know if any of you guys have got class pass and can tell me but I've noticed that the class credits have gone down so I don't know if it's because we're no longer in summer and maybe the classes aren't at peak occupancy but so many of my favourite classes that used to be like 10 or 9 or 12 credits are now like 5 or 6. So maybe it's supply and demand, maybe I'm just choosing less primetime classes, but that is a digression. Today's going to be just spent at home. I'm going to go downstairs and make myself my morning smoothie. I haven't showed you guys um, my updated recipe, so I know you'll be thrilled to see. Sorry darlings, my battery just died while I was chatting to you, but... I'm gonna show you in detail how I make my morning smoothie um, because it has changed a little bit lately. So, the main ingredient change I would say is probably the most important. Oops, my goodness. Um, and it is this bad boy. So this is my new plant protein. As you can see, it is personalized. For Josephine, I think that's probably my French name. This is from a company called Care Of, and they deliver personalized vitamins. And I took their test online. So basically, when you go on their website, you take like a test, and it asks you things like what you would like to improve. Is it your energy levels? Um, is it your skin and things like that? Do you exercise? Do you smoke? Basically, like a lifestyle questionnaire. And then it recommends to you a set of um, vitamins, which I actually have in my healthy cupboard as well. So these are my personalized vitamins. Every day after breakfast, I take these. Um, these are personalized to me. So I wanted ones that would be good for my hair, skin and nails, also for slow release energy um, and other things. So yeah, they come in these packets and the packets are compostable, which is really important to me. So my daily vitamins are kind of as a result of the questionnaire that I did and I get these delivered to me on a regular basis. They are the same company, Care Of is the company for both of these, as my plant protein. So I wanted to try something new and I was really impressed with the ingredients that Care Of use. They're always super high quality. You can read all about the individual ingredients on the website. This is, as you can guess by the name, a plant-based protein. Um, it's got organic pea protein in there and all the ingredients are grown really sustainably. So I was very impressed with that. This is the vanilla flavor. I don't find that it overpowers the taste of my morning smoothie. It just makes it really lovely and creamy. And obviously protein is really good for um, keeping you a bit more full for longer and also muscle recovery so for me it's a fantastic thing to put in my morning smoothie especially if I've done a workout in the morning so that's kind of like the key ingredient I'll take my vitamins afterwards I use a nut milk or like an oat milk if I've run out of nut milk as the liquid and this one is my favorite a key ingredient in my smoothies is a an almond butter and this one is so delicious I put in a big dollop of that as you may have seen from my what I eat in a day video, I get my oats from a local bulk food store. When this runs out, I'm gonna try and get my almond butter from a bulk food store as well. Um, so yeah, I put in a big handful of oats and that also helps to keep me full and makes it more of like a breakfast smoothie. I try really hard to buy packaging free fruit and vegetables, but now that they're not in season, it's really annoying. Um, the only place I can really get them is in Sainsbury's because our farmer's market no longer has um, blueberries and raspberries. So if anyone can recommend a way of me getting these without the plastic, then let me know. But for today, that's what we're going with. Not all of these, I'll do a small handful of each. And then I've also got my freezer bag, which contains some strawberries I prepared earlier, so I don't like to use plastic bags in the freezer. Um, every week I will just buy a big punnet of strawberries, chop them up and pop them in here and freeze them for using in my smoothies each morning. So as you know, I use my Thermomix to blend everything up. Today I'm making a slightly larger than normal portion because I'm making it for both Charlie and I. So let's do it.
was forgetting something because I was vlogging, I wasn't switched on. So the final ingredient, if you're very um, switched on, you will remember that I put maca in my smoothies. So these are, I normally would use a bigger container, but these are some really handy packets, like daily packets, also from Care Of, and these were also part of my recommendations after doing my quiz. So inside here, you get your daily pack of maca. So this, again, is really fantastic after a workout because it's just great for fitness performance and keeping you full for longer, so a fantastic thing to put in your morning smoothie. You could also just mix it with um, like a juice or even in your coffee because it doesn't really have a strong taste to it. So I can just add this into my smoothie and also on the website you can read exactly where Care Of sourced the ingredients. So I read that they sourced their maca from the Peruvian Andes, which is really interesting and amazing to think how global my morning smoothie is. Quite a lot in here. <laughs> but I always seem to get the exact perfect amount, even just doing it by eye. So now I'm gonna do my toppings, and for me, this is my favorite bit. The best part of a breakfast smoothie are the crunchy bits on top. So I like to put on a little bit of this um, quinoa-based granola. It's got almonds, um, it's got some pumpkin seeds and other seeds mixed in there as well. Then on mine, I like to put a little bit of bee pollen. I just love anything from bees, whether it's honey or pollen. Um, really good source of protein. So I'm going to pop that on mine. Charlie's not such a fan. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little handful onto this one. And then lastly, I have another sachet from Care Of. This is their Chia Flax sachet. Once again, really high quality organic ingredients. You could mix these in with your smoothie, but I personally prefer them on top. So chia is a bit of a superfood. It's been really popular for a while now. It's been used since I think the ancient Aztecs. Really good source of fiber. Um, it's fantastic for the digestive system. So a really good thing to have in the morning before a busy day. And chia and flax are also both really good for heart health. So those are my morning smoothies. I'm gonna go and enjoy. Um, and I'll see you later. Something very exciting just arrived um, from Farfetch. I will not be unboxing it in this video though because I'm going to be doing um, a video that's all about like my autumn investment pieces. You will probably be seeing that tomorrow if my schedule is correct. darlings looking a little bit bonkers I feel like I look like a judge of some sorts um, but I have a very exciting shoot this morning we've just been to dry by to get um, hair blow dried but I'm gonna let these curls out in a second and now we are at one Marlebone. it's currently completely empty doing something fun for Ted Baker here this morning so hopefully I'll be able to show you a little bit of behind the scenes It is now the next day. Um, yesterday was quite manic with the shooting, but very, very productive. And today we are in Covent Garden. This is one of my favorite places to come for shopping and just for the general atmosphere. It feels like you're really getting a sense of London life when you come here. If you are a tourist visiting London, then I would definitely recommend coming to Covent Garden. They always have these like pretty benches that sometimes are sponsored by brands or they've got flowers all over them. Um, I'm here because Charlie is shooting with Kat today. He's shooting behind me over there. I've just had to put some serum concealer from Bare Minerals on his nose and eyes because it is broken from the accident that you guys might have seen a couple of vlogs ago during a rugby match. And then I've got a facial with Elizabeth Arden in the new boot store here, which I'm very much looking forward to. So we're gonna get a few quick snaps. Um, 
Then I have a really nice pampering day today. I'm going to Prima Lashes upon Freddie's recommendation to get individual lash extensions. I think I'm getting the Russian version. So I'm looking forward to that. And then it's home for an afternoon of baking. I'm gonna make my cinnamon rolls again. So I'll show you that whole process as well as maybe some chia muffins. I was thinking about the chia care of sachet that I have and I thought that would be really nice in a non-smoothie format as well so yeah I might try making some cheer muffins that would be rather tasty so I'll show you what I'm baking but for now um, we're just gonna do some snaps it's now stealing my Instagram ideas and getting shots on the bench no one's original anymore Okay, so we've done lots of snapping. I have changed outfit. I absolutely love this top, and I've got a little tool skirt on too. Now we've come to the boots on um, the new boots, the massive boots opposite the Covent Garden tube station. And I'm going to have a speed facial with Elizabeth Arden. It's literally 15 minutes. At the moment, it's free until the 6th of November. So I'm making the most of it. Uh, Kat's going to get some clips for me, and I'm going to have a little pump session. Hello my darlings, so it's a few hours later now. I am back home. As you may be able to tell, I have had individual lash extensions done since I last spoke to you. I went to a new place called Prima Lashes. It was in Mayfair. Beautiful uh, kind of salon area, really light and bright with pink furniture. It was gorgeous. And um, I was probably in there probably a good two hours. It will be much quicker next time, so it'll just be a top up. But I had the Russian set, obviously from Bare Lashes. I took a before video clip here, so you can really see the difference it's made. It's individual lashes on my own lashes, and I always think it makes such a difference. I've got like day old makeup on now, so it'll look much better when it's set in with proper makeup tomorrow. So I'll show you again in the morning in the proper daylight. I just listened to a Mile Higher podcast while she was doing it. Um, I always fall asleep in the first half hour because I'm always quite tired from like marching around or doing whatever. And then when I'm lying on a bed, my eyes closed listening to something, it always sends me to sleep. So I always apologize before I go in. I'm like, I'm really sorry. I am gonna fall asleep. Please just give me a nudge if I start twitching or snoring. So yeah, that was great. Home now, just waiting for Charlie. He's probably just wrapping up his photo shoot with Kat. And I'm gonna make my carrot and cinnamon swirls. So I thought I would go through that with you. But first, um, ooh, first let me show you the ingredients. I will pop the recipe for it down below. I know I mentioned um, that I would last time and then I completely forgot, but I definitely will this time. So it's not a proper Thermomix recipe, as in it's not a built-in one. It's from a website, I think it's Sophia's Kitchen. So you've got some demerara sugar. I got the sugar from our bulk food store and a little bit of extra light brown sugar, um, except I think it needs dark brown sugar. Okay, so I've got the sugar. Butter, whole milk, plain flour. And then spice-wise, we've got allspice, nutmeg, and cinnamon, as well as some baking powder, and caster sugar, as well as a bit of yeast as well. So no, it's not a healthy recipe, but they are so tasty. They were such a hit when I made them last time. So uh, yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, so my butter, my flour, my baking powder, etc., are all blended, and the machine even has a kneading function, so you don't have you don't have to stand there kneading your dough. So that is now done, it only took two minutes. And I'm now gonna pop it in a bowl for about an hour while I make the uh, very naughty bit, the carrot, the cinnamon, and the sugar glaze and filling. So, it's looking good. Okay. 
Okay, so the buns are all rolled out and into baking trays. These ones are slightly fatter um, with more filling and then these are the slightly lighter version. They always look a little bit rubbish at this stage but I'm gonna pop them in the oven now for 25 minutes and you'll see how delicious they look afterwards. So the buns are a little bit more well done, let's say, than I had intended. I'm taking my ring off, I need to pop that back on. Um, but they'll still be absolutely delicious. These were on the bottom shelf and they are a little bit better. But I'm gonna do the icing sugar now and they should look absolutely fabulous. few hours later now. The rugby was a great success. England won and the food went down. A treat, cinnamon rolls and my banana bread from the other day. Seeing as it's such a miserable day now, it is pouring with rain. We just took the boys for a walk. But now, I've just brought Charlie down to our local home sense. It's his first time here. So we're gonna go in and see if we can find any nice little pieces. You never know if you're gonna find anything or not, but it's worth a try. Are they the ones with the wooden whip? Yeah, so they make that crackling like fire sound to a smith street. Charlie's discovered the Le Creuset section. I think it's safe to say he's in his element. Olive oil jug. In pink. Something that I never knew I needed, but now I know. <laughs> but we're getting you a like new... I love the colour, but I don't think we need this. an olive oil jug. Come, come through, come through. This. Where is it? Uh, here. This is literally the ideal mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, lasagna. An autumn winter kitchen staple. Dear Lord. How does everyone think I look with my black eyes? You do look a bit sluggish today. That's nice. What would we make in that? Risotto. That's really nice. I don't like these plastic handles, though. Better than metal where you burn yourself. No, it's so let's see. I don't know. I think it's quite so nice. Let's get it. Sort, sort out onions in there. Yeah, we need this. Isn't it? This is the right size, do you think? Um, well, the size of the box, I would say so. Yeah. I wish we'd come here when we were buying all the essentials for the house because they've got pink, nice set, pink scissors. This is a dream. They've even got a reusable straw section. Very good. Just spotted these at the till at Home Sense. This is a really good idea to avoid single use gift wrap at Christmas, avoid using all the plastic. Pop the presents in these and then you can reuse them every single year. We weren't planning on buying anything, but instead we've got three bags full. Good morning, so I'm starting off the day in personal shopping at Topshop. I thought I would do a little come shopping with me um, and show you some of the bits that I'm gonna try. I'm actually already wearing head to toe Topshop. See the comfy jumper, my little leggings and booties. We've got some really gorgeous bits on show already. This beautiful sheer blouse, love the polka dots and then a Gorgeous tonal selection. We've got some more sheer, we've got some cord, knitwear, slip skirts. We've got some gorgeous kind of like 70s. Love the faux fur gilet. Some things from the New Conscious collection. We've got some more, ooh, leather skirt. That's intriguing. We've got some jeans, some blouses, some nice workwear, some autumnal pink tones. Oh my goodness, I'm desperate to delve in and start trying. Okay, so I've popped on a gorgeously soft faux shilling jacket. 
This has um, got this really nice light, almost gray beige, and then super, super soft lining. It looks really like substantial and cozy. Such a nice thing for the autumn winter season. And then this jumper underneath, it's just a really nice plain kind of roll neck, and it has got cashmere in the mix, so it's really nice and soft and cozy as well. In my favorite shade, beautiful blush pink. Kept on my faux leather leggings and boots, and this is just a gorgeous tonal look for autumn. And I've just swapped the coat for this faux fur gilet. So soft and I love gilets for just adding a nice layer of warmth. Really good for layering as well. If it gets super chilly, you can put a coat over your shoulders too. But I think these colors just look gorgeous together. So that's another one that I'm definitely gonna take. So I've just tried on this like taupey gray pointed toe boot and I love it. I feel like this shade is just gonna work so well with the other things in my wardrobe. You can see the color a little bit better here. Heel is not too high and I just love a pointed toe. I feel like they're kind of like a taupe shade. They'll definitely match my autumn nail varnish when I get that changed. I actually didn't think I would love this top. I've seen them in so many places, um, but I tried it on out of curiosity and I really, really like it. Something a little bit Baroque and almost a bit Dior about it. I think with a darker toned pleated midi skirt, it would look really, really nice. There's a statement necklace too. I love the square neckline. It feels really Victorian. And then you've got the autumn winter trend of the puff sleeve and the sheer fabric as well. So a surprise hit. <laughs> Probably not one to wear when my hair is up, but the gold headband. From one try on session to another, I'm now at the Mandrake Hotel penthouse, trying on some amazing dresses from Needle and Thread, and we have such a cool space. I'm just using this little corner as my office at the moment to try on. How stunning is this gown? Kat is coming to meet me here in a second, and we are gonna get some snaps, but I thought I would just quickly show you around. 